Hey, my name is April, and I'm the Peaceful Wife, and I'd like to invite you to be peaceful in Christ, too. Today, I'd like to talk about how easy it is to assume the worst, but how, if we are in Christ, we don't have to live like that anymore. Well, I sent my husband a text and it's been 10 minutes and he has not responded. What could that mean? You know, it probably means that he doesn't love me anymore. Because I think if he loved me, he would have responded right away. Yes, he's at work, but I mean, normally he responds right away. So I'm so upset. That's probably what's going on. He really doesn't love me. He doesn't want to talk to me. This is going to be the worst day ever. Well, I sent my husband a text and he hasn't responded for a while. So I'm going to assume the best that he's just in a meeting or he's busy. He is at work after all. He may not have time to text me, but I know that he loves me and I'm not going to freak out. I'm going to go spend my time on something else and give him the time he needs to do his job. My, my husband is late. Like he was supposed to get home 20 minutes ago. I haven't heard from him. He hasn't texted me. Why hasn't he texted me? You know, he probably hasn't texted me because something really awful has happened. Like, like he's probably been in a wreck. If he's been in a wreck, maybe he's killed or he got mugged on the way to his car at work. He's probably dead. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? He's probably dead. I'm going to have to sell the house. The kids are going to have to go to another school. We're going to have to move back in with my parents. I'm going to be so lonely at night if he's not here. I need to find our life insurance policy right now. I got to go find it. My husband is running about 20 minutes late and I am going to assume the best I'm going to just assume he got tied up in traffic or on a call at work and I'm just going to pray. Dear God, I am going to entrust my husband to you. I ask that you protect him. I ask that you might help him to be safe. And I thank you that you are with me and that no matter what happens, as long as I have you, I'm going to be okay. I just trust your sovereignty and your love your provision, and thank you that you are with us. Thank you that we can have peace even when things are uncertain. Amen. We don't have to freak out anymore. If we are in Christ, we can have the peace of God. We can be unshakable. Yes, there will be scary things that happen, and then we will trust God with them, and even if the worst were to happen, if God is with us, then he will provide and he will give us strength and wisdom and he will use anything that happens for his glory. So I don't want to see us living in worry and fear, but I want to see us have that peaceful, gentle spirit that is of such great value in God's sight that does what is right and does not give way to hysterical fear. Part of God's love is that it does not assume the worst. We don't have to assume the worst about people's motives or about how situations are gonna turn out. We don't have to live in fear and worry anymore. Jesus has set us free from that. Now we can live in faith and trust, and even if something really bad happens, if God is with us, we can stand on his promises and we can rest in his peace even in the midst of our most difficult situations. Silver, Want to say bye? <laughs> you can find me at my blogs, peacefulwife.com and peacefulsinglegirl.com, and I hope that you will have a peaceful day in the Lord.